This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Yay! We didn't have to watch a sex scene! Yeah! <laughs> what a way to open a YouTube video, huh? Oh no! Oh! Oh, we have another job! We have another job! Oh, good. JB's arrived in a typically flashy fashion to pick me up for the previously scheduled job. Oh, that's right, we did have a scheduled job. Judging from the way she's currently draping her arms around my neck, I'm going to guess this personal escort is mainly an excuse to tease Sachi. Is she, like, <laughs> hugging my neck, or is she, like, choking me, like, Yuji, you're gonna die today? <laughs> I think the latter. Eh, she's gone 15 years of her life without me, so... She'll be fine. あら、自分のことを殺かってくる相手にそんなことが言えるなんて、サチもなかなかやるわね。more importantly, anything you want to ask me before I head out? I was talking to my girlfriend. Shut up for a minute, woman. Rude! I fr shake free of JB's cleany embrace and cut out the flow of crap short with a hand over her mouth. When I silently look in JB's direction, she brings a hand to her chin and thinks the matter over for a moment. So she says. <laughs> I, I really do hope I will return to the dormitory in my lifetime. Yeah, no plans to stay overnight. I'll definitely be coming back. As she speaks, Sachi looks up at me with a gravely serious expression. Yeah, I suppose it is. I know I would I would go to sleep. I might get back at like four in the morning. Just to be perfectly clear, that doesn't mean I want you to stand on this exact spot the entire time, alright? You say that, but we've had some problems in the past. Sorry, but you've kind of got a track record. Good. In that case, not a problem. As Sachi bows politely, JB and I lower ourselves onto the car and draw the door shut. Did I say onto? I meant into. We are not riding on the non-existent roof. Well, you know, you know, JB, as it turns out, people are suspicious because as it turns out, I've been lying to them about cleaning up free story Taco Bells, and they've discovered there are no free story Taco Bells in the world. So yeah, they're kind of suspicious. Even if she does, I don't think she's likely to bring them up. Please don't compare Sachi to a dog. A military dog. Well, she's definitely a creature of habit. A slightly obsessive German Shepherd, maybe. I know. Wasn't planning to say anything of the sort, but she started staring into my eyes and I just couldn't help myself. What, me? <laughs> if you say so. Look, how about you put making fun of us on hold for the moment and pay a little more attention to the damn road? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be looking up at the sky while driving. It doesn't end well. I had been a little worried Sachi might get caught up on the, got, get caught up on the way things ended yesterday, but she didn't seem any different this morning. Maybe that pat on the head actually did the trick. Yeah, who needs sex when you have head pats? Yeah, sounds like a plan. Obediently retrieving a sleep mask out of the dashboard, I slip it over my eyes and lean back on the soft leather seat. Within moments, I'm falling into a light sleep. <sighs> uh, 
And now things get uncomfortable. Oh, maybe not. Yumiko's the least uncomfortable of the <laughs> of the characters, <laughs> surprisingly. そう見えてしまいましたか。え、なんとなくだけれど、地元。いえ、坂木さんの言う通りです。少し考え事をしていましたから。もし何か悩みがあるなら、私でよければ相談に乗るわよ。坂木さん、いくらカップ焼きそば
なことまで答えてくれるなんて榊さんはいい人ですねそそんなことはどうでもいいのよ Yeah, I would get out of here, Yumiko. でも、コミナさんの悩みがそういうことに関係しているのよ。No! That would be the worst person to. Well. Eh. Amine or Makina, one of the two would be the worst. I was a Sakaki san de Machiga in a cut at all, my mass, yo. So? You're not wrong. How do you know that? What? 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 ログイン時のパスワードロッケタクライナラカカテイナイノトナチデスカラサチュダレスクリピーエンドヒュージブリッジプライバシーおわかりいただけましたかええコミネサントバスコシツキアイカタオカンガイタホングヨサソダトユムコスコナウゴインディゲッエイワンハンドキャラクターパスワードデワハナシノホンダイニツイテナノデスガツズケテ Can we please go to Yuji at his job now? I would much rather read about him killing people than about this. It's evening, Makina, on a weekday. It's going to be boring stuff on TV. Who is Professor Dave? I do not know. A TV show character, apparently. Wow, Sachi embarrassed. That doesn't happen very often. Also, Sachi in a school uniform. That doesn't happen very often. I don't like where this is going. わざわざ教室まで行ってはいそのおかげでとても集中することができましたそうねそのわりには二人ともメガ遠くを見つめてる感じになっちゃってるけど大丈夫気にしないでしばらく休めば治るわはいメイド服とガーターベルトの関係が ガートアベルトわかった勉強と見せかけてそうかもしれないわねあのユミちゃんが私のからかいを軽く受け流すなんてまさかこの短期間の間に悟りをだったらすごいけどねそれにしても遅いのよ今日のお兄ちゃん Remember when this game was fun. Mitra, thank you. You're one of the only normal people left. Well, normal being a relative term. Mm, boy. <laughs> well, that's just Sachi by nature. That's okay, I'm cleaning buildings inside. さっちゃんが行方不明になったこともあるから余計にねすみませんその説は皆さんに多大なご迷惑をおかけしてしまってああもう謝らなくてもいいってば別にさっちゃんのことを責めてるわけじゃないからそうそうつまりそれだけユージ
うのユウくんは約束を破ったことが一度もありませんから一度もはいそれは私が皆さんにご迷惑をおかけした時も同じでちゃんと私のことを迎えに来ていた Two days later, and he said he would meet it a little after five, so that's. Well, I guess that counts. Oh, Oh, yeah, she does consider us her big sister. Because we stupidly agreed to that. We keep skipping Yuji's jobs. I want to see what he does in his job. I'm pretty sure it's something like violent and action packed, and I actually kind of want to read that. Okay, thanks. Opening my eyes at the sound of JB's voice, I reached down to unfasten my, the seat belt that strapped across my body. Not like you have anything to apologize for. This is hardly the first time I've had to spend an entire day on standby. Sachi, right. Red Robin is having happy hour tomorrow, so a date. Beach with Sachi. That could be fun. Also, if it's summer, why are we in school? Hmm. Come to think of it, something like that might be called for right about now. Our first date was pr a pretty casual, low-effort affair, after all. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Right. Thanks for the ride. I literally, from that sound effect, I like to imagine that every time JB takes off in her bimbo mobile, like the car tips onto just its back wheels. Like, ah, it does a wheelie. <laughs> As I'm watching JB's car screech off into the distance, Sachi calls out to me from beside the school gate. Sachi, please don't tell me you've been out here all night. A little while, huh? Don't know exactly what a little while is for Sachi, but her hair is visibly damp, and it hasn't been raining for and it has not been raining for some time. Anyway, thanks for coming out to meet me. Instead of speaking my thoughts, I drop my hand onto Sachi's head and ruffle her hair. Soon enough, I receive a small, satisfied smile in return. Nope, haven't eaten yet. Aw, that's nice. See, see? These are the wholesome times I was hoping for. Alright, that'd definitely be a help this time. Oh. Hmm. No, but you're really obliging tonight, even for you. Almost like a genuine maid. Wouldn't say that, but I do feel a little awkward getting waited on hand and foot. Alright, I see. Kind of feels like she's just dancing around the issue, but I guess it's a coherent argument. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Aw, that was nice. <laughs> she's just staring at us. <laughs> Hey, girl. Hang on a second. I thought you were offering the bath for just us. We didn't take a bath together, did we? Because that, that is inappropriate. 
Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? No! You... <sighs> they can't hear me. I can't talk sense into them. Maybe their relationship will fall apart because of this. Oh, maybe we're just in the bath by ourselves. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. <sighs> Wiping a few beads of sweat from my forehead, I sink into the bathtub down to the neck and let my muscles relax. I ended up stuck on the job for 12 straight hours today. Ultimately, the rat we were waiting for never showed, so I spent every minute of that on standby. After holding the exact same position for all that time, my body's aching and stiff all over. In my experience, I'm all in lone soak in hot water is the best way to fix that. Changed, huh? Okay, my mistake. So, so Sachi literally just did prepare the bath for us to go and bathe by ourselves. That's good. That's actually a very nice thing to do. I ignore everything I said uh, in that last scene. JB said her observation applies to the both of us, but I'm not really aware of anything that different about my behavior. Then again, I don't think she's wrong about Sachi. The girl's gotten noticeably thoughtful about the situation she finds herself in. And she's been asking questions on her own initiative, actively seeking to understand the meaning of people's actions. I didn't see much of either from Sachi before. They represent clear changes in her normally static pattern of behavior. Now we just have to see what kind of results they bring. You better be outside the room. Yeah, no problems. Okay, hold on a second. Why are you in the room? How long have you been in here? What is with Sachi and the bath and inappropriate things happening in here? I wasn't completely off guard either. How'd you sneak up on me like that? This is getting creepy. Easy enough to talk about moving silently, but in practice, walking without producing a sound is very, very nearly impossible. Stealth requires a great deal of skill, especially when approaching an alert opponent. And Sachi managed to get this close without tipping me off. That joke about her being a spy in maid's clothing doesn't seem quite so funny anymore. Alright, so why did you sneak in here? You clearly knew I was taking a bath. <laughs> No. Ooh, uh, yeah, I hope this is a hallucination. That, that would be great. Well, actually, wait, that came out wrong. <laughs> I would prefer that to Sachi actually breaking into the bath while we're in here. Wash my back? Hmm... The exact connection between showing her gratitude and rinsing my back kind of eludes me, but Sachi brought up the, his proposal on her own. Whatever the details, I want to encourage that sort of initiative on her part. I like encouraging initiative, but not in this way. Alright then, appreciate it. There is a heavy echo, but I think that's literally just because the bathroom echoes. Because I think every time Sachi's been in the bathroom, for realsies, she, her voice has echoed. Right. <laughs> nice stock splash sound effect. I pull myself up out of the grand bath, then sit down on the bath stool as directed by Sachi. Okay, I'm not Michiru. I don't like it or dislike it particularly. I just want to know where this is coming from. The mood, huh? Guess there's nothing for it then. On second thought, that makes no damn sense at all. Forget my maneuvering. Does this mood really require you to talk to me like I'm some feudal lord? <laughs> Privy thee, Sachi. Get thee hence to for and prepare me some capon. No! We 
Do not. <laughs> I think there are ways to show gratitude that don't involve any lewdness whatsoever. But I suppose there's no real need to press the point. Am I the weird one here? I think I'm the weird one here. No, okay, good. Prince Dusk is also with me on this. <laughs> but I think, thank goodness. Because sometimes, come, sometimes I wonder, I'm like, am I the weird one for thinking the way I do? Or is everybody in this story weird? I think it's the latter. Alright, fine. We'll do it your way this time, Sachi. Alright, so far, so good. <laughs> Again, I love the stock sound effect. As soon as the words are out of her mouth, Saji carefully picks up a bucket and dumps some pleasantly warm water over my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, feels fine. Right. Next, she thoroughly lavers my back with a layer of frothy soap. I just wanted to enjoy my hot tub. And after this line, I feel a distinctly soft sensation against my back. Nope! <laughs> We're not showing that! <laughs> At the time, there's a little nasal... I'm not reading that. <laughs> Sachi, what the hell are you doing? She's washing my back, but in a very lewd way. I see, well, as long as you're washing my back, I guess it's all good. This is bad. Nope. As if. Were you seriously expect me to ro expecting me to roll with this? <laughs> How was that not cut out of the censored version? <laughs> Alright, I think that's over with. But this is why I had my scene change on... On standby. <laughs> Because you pressed your chest against me out of nowhere. Isn't that the natural reaction? There, I don't really see the difference. It's still very lewd and... Yeah, uh, I still am not showing that on Twitch. <laughs> hmm, might be right about that one, actually. I'm just gonna preemptively change again in case it starts happening again. No, look, I'm trying to ask you why you felt the need to molest me like this. I just want an explanation. You do have a reason for doing this, right? Yeah, maybe just, maybe just, maybe playing this game was a big mistake. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you didn't just think this up on the spur of the moment. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's not maybe it's not going to cut back to that. I just gotta be I gotta be fast on my fingers here. <laughs> Spare me the misguided admiration and get to the explanation. Yesterday's events? This is the worst stream of Fruit of Grisea we've done. Without question. Ah, now I get it. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. I don't- I don't know, Prince Dusk. And you were just unlucky that way. <sighs> Come to think of it, she did seem a little uneasy after the fact. I guess the sudden aggressive approach makes sense given the context. I mean, the game is trying to make it so the sex scenes actually play a role in the plot, which, like, I guess I can kind of... I can kind of appreciate that they're trying to do that and not just throwing it in for literally no reason, but also you could definitely take these out and replace it with something less lewd and the story would probably get better. So, yeah. So, who put that idea in your head? Ah, so it's... Wait, Sakaki? Seriously? Okay, you know what? You know what, folks? Is there a way to do... No. Changing the stream title. 
<laughs> it's more it's more appropriate now. It's rated M, but I'm still uncomfortable. What did I expect? Hugs and rainbows? I expect... You know what I expected, Nick? I expected violence and action scenes, not sex. <laughs> I can deal... I actually... I can deal with violence and action scenes. Because that's what Fruits of the Literature Club had. The Fruits of the Literature Club did not have any of this sex stuff. <laughs> oh, Alright. <laughs> This stream will probably not extend beyond two hours. Um, are you sure you didn't mean Amine? Okay, change of plans, folks. From now on, if we have problems, we're going to meet Shiru for the... <laughs> or the principal. Principal is the winner. <laughs> hmm. That girl giving out advice, let alone in a kindly way, is definitely a little surprising. But when you account for everything she's picked up from browsing the internet all the time, Sakaki might well have Amine beat when it comes to secondhand knowledge about sex. In other words, I hate. I have Cyber Sakaki to thank for this. Can't deny that it stimulates the male lust for conquest. <sighs> this makes me want to vomit. So that's why she asked that question at the school gate earlier. An adult, yes, and honestly, just a normal classmate. But that's the problem with being at a school where nobody is normal. Weird, weird stuff starts a-happening. Before that, I want to clear up a misunderstanding of yours. Many. Yeah, I thought I said this before, but you've got the wrong idea about why I stopped yesterday. It's not that I don't think you're attractive. It is, for example. I find it fairly arousing when you get naked and press your chest against me. But it's not appropriate for Artie's streams. <laughs> Hearing my reply, Sachi smiles with evident happiness. Imagining the girl earnestly plotting out this ridiculous plan, it's a little hard not to hold back a wry smile of my own. But then again, that kind of awareness, or awkwardness, might not be that atypical for someone this inexperienced. Alright, Sachi, go ahead. No, 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 you don't get to go ahead. She'll serve us with all of our heart, and... Oh, hey! It skipped, there was no extra CG. Oh, good. Thank goodness. I have no idea how that skipped past the ESRB rating system, but when she emerges from the Grand Bath a few minutes after me, Sachi's beaming smile is noticeably more energetic than usual. Welcome to the anime universe where boys go to the all-girls school and sex plays a big role. But it doesn't play a big role in the story! That's my point! It can have a... It has a lot of sex stuff in it, which I, pre I guess they do that for the fan service, because a lot of people like that. But it's not actually playing a role in the story. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's typical. Because guess what? Sex really isn't ever necessary. Or sh explicitly showing and talking about sex is never really necessary to extend a story. <laughs> very, very rarely is it. When she emerges from the Grand Bath a few minutes uh, after me, Sachi's beaming smile is noticeably more energetic than usual. You're in a good mood. Yes. <laughs> If she is, that's creepy. We need to stop these with these security cameras around school. Is she supposed to be dead or just a voyeur? When I'm finished with this, I'm gonna have to start watching some Veggie Tales to cleanse my soul. <laughs> Guess I owe her one then. Anyway, you feeling a little relieved now. Well, seems you're in a pretty good mood already, but I've actually got another little treat for you. Not a chance. No, I bought the sour gummy bears that we were supposed to buy yesterday. <laughs> I said a treat, not a horror show. <laughs> Let me take you on a date to the beach tomorrow. Oh yeah, that. You staring at me. 
Saji, you listening? <laughs> Guys, I'm starting to think Saji might not be a robot. I'd laugh at this point, but I know you're completely serious. She looks pretty pleased, though. Inviting her seems to have been the right choice. So anyway, I guess that means you're up for the beach? Sachi bends an elbow and strikes the same emphatic salute that she used in our earlier training session. We've already been to the beach with all of the girls before, and they all wore bathing suits and, like, Amine's was super skimpy, but Sachi's was actually, like, fine. It was cute. Her almost childish enthusiasm is blatantly obvious from the tone of her voice alone. She's not just pleased, she's genuinely excited. By the way, if there's something on your mind, you can talk to me about it next time. You said it yourself, didn't you? You're my girlfriend first. I might be a pretty half-assed excuse for a human being, but I do know how to listen when the people I care about talk. Not that I'm asking you to tell me everything. Just want you to know that there's no need to be so reserved. You understand what I'm telling you? <laughs> I, I know, Prince Dusk, but never never fear. If there's anything too lewd, I, I change. This is the first stream I've actually had to start po putting a black screen on to avoid some things, but... Yeah. <clears throat>